Hi everyone, welcome to the monthly birthstone jewelry collab, hashtag Pirate Pretties Jewelry Challenge. I started in on this with the February one, um, and March is now up. We post on the 15th of each month, and just look for the hashtag Pirate Pretties Jewelry Challenge, which I'll have linked below. And uh, you can see Pirate Pretties channel and um, any others that are participating. Now, there's no set time that I'm aware of, through, so just check throughout the day. For March, our color is aquamarine, with the birthstone color, and the metal type we were to use is either silver or copper, and I use silver. Uh, the project type is a necklace. I did two necklaces, a bracelet, and several pairs of earrings. And fun element is shells or fish, and I used both. So, um... I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, I've done everything. So let me just unveil. The first set is here, the first collection. And um, this way. All right, I think that's good. So this is made out of aquamarine chips, aquamarine little drops, and little rondelles. And then I have a shell fish, and I'll tell you where I got all these things. And then these are litus or litub shell heishi beads. And these are shell. Um, so let me see if I can figure this out for you. Nope, I didn't use those. Uh, I didn't use that. Okay, the Heishi Bees were from Fire Mountain a long time ago, but the number then was H204372GS. They're 5 to 7 millimeter, and they're not all perfect, but most of them are. And they have little ridges on uh, one side of them. They're really kind of cool, and they're, they're a, a bright white, and it says Bead Heishi L-I-T-U-B, that's a type of shell, I think. Natural is N, and they're on a 16-inch strand. So I don't know if they still have them, but there you go. The squares were from uh, Bead Gallery, so Michael's. Honestly, I don't know when I got them a long time ago. And I used only one, it was like two strands, and I used only one. And they're drilled, they're drilled sort of off um, they're like a third of the way down, third of the way down the side. So they, they don't hang down a lot, but they sort of, they're off center is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and then, um, I think I put my other aquamarine away already, but these, I think, well, let me see, I have them down here. I have a little fishing tackle box thing with my aquamarine, and all aquamarine is not created equal. Okay, the chips, the rondelles, excuse me, were from jewelrymaker.com. The chips were from Fire Mountain. And the little, um, these things, the drops were from Auntie's Beads. 9 mm fat now these i got a long time ago too so i don't know if they still have them did i miss anything rondelles chips and those yeah i think that's it um so just search on aquamarine <laughs> if you want want them so i think my beadboard's been lying to me because when i laid this out i had nine inches to the center uh drop right so that would be 18 inches but then when i take my ruler next to it and go like this it's it's not it's like eight something so i think my beadboard is kind of wrong um yeah it's like eight not quite even eight and a half so that would be only 16 inch so i put a two inch extender on it <laughs> thinking i had an 18 inch and was going to extend it to 20. you see that has natural coloring too on the fish oh those came from um oriental trading actually 
And do I still have them out? I don't think I do. I thought I did. Anyway, yeah, they definitely came from Oriental Trading. I don't seem to have them out still. Um, yeah, and the, oh, I'm sorry. And their shell. So then I made this bracelet. Same. Oh, and the um, the lobster claw and the chain uh, extension. Those are from BB Craft. I had bought a huge order la last year sometime. These are all two-inch extension chain pieces. Sorry about the light glare in different colors. I used the bright silver one because I have bright silver beads. And I also used the bright silver lobster clasp in this little thing. Now, they're from BB Craft, but um, I think these are actually Panda Hall. Yeah, because their code starts with a PH. I don't know who these are from, but I bought them from BB Craft. And you can see in the chips that some of them have browns and things. I'm okay with that because it's a natural look, right? And you'll see on the next necklace that this is more of a green blue. This is like a rough natural aquamarine. Um, now on this one, on the bracelet, I did not use the squares. I used these little donuts instead. And those... We're from jewelrymaker.com over in the UK. They're 10 millimeter. They call them corn coin hoops, but I call them donuts. And um, yeah, I got I got a lot of my stuff along you know several years ago. But otherwise, I used the um, rondelles, I used the heishi beads, and I used the chips in the back here. Now I didn't have an aquamarine small enough to fit in. The middle of those so since i was using i forgot to tell you about those i used three millimeter silver plated brass round beads um i bought these from fire mountain a long while ago in a pack of a thousand so i have these to last like a lifetime and so far in that container they haven't tarnished or anything but that's what i used throughout here and um that's what i used in the center of those little donuts so, I don't know if you can see that. And this is a little bit big. This fits a seven and a half to seven and three quarter inch wrist. Um, it's too big on me. <laughs> um, I put it down thinking it would be seven, and I actually ended up adding some beads here at the back, and then I guess I added too many or something. So I'd have to take it apart and redesign. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to leave it alone. Other people have bigger wrists than me. I can make another one and make it smaller. And, and that's fine. So then, um, so same thing. Oh, and the beading wire I used was not any that I bought recently. I had this pack of all different blues plus a black from JewelryMaker.com. I was really kind of addicted to them for quite a while. You can watch them live on their website, and you can even write in and chat with them. You know, not an extreme amount, but you can comment on products or whatever, or say, ooh, that's pretty, or, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, I bought this set of beading wire in all these colors. I used only, this time, the, the light blue, and then I realized this one actually would have matched the, the more green aquamarine better but that's okay and i used beetalon crimp tubes i used fire mountain wire guardians and i don't know if you saw my recent fire mountain haul where i got a free gift of accuguard i used six out of the ten free wire guardians i have four left so i'll be using them pretty soon probably wherever i used a jump ring i used an oval jump ring like here hooked onto the wire guardian um and same back here only i used a little bit bigger one i think no i used a small one right there hooked onto the wire guardian and then this chain is hooked on to that as well i used a little bit bigger one on the fish because i had to be able to get it through and make sure that was secure okay and then the earrings um I guess I'll start with these. 
Um, on these three pair, I had these lever backs that I've had for ages from Fire Mountain. And they have a shell on the front, so that I thought that was appropriate. Same design with the aquamarine rondelles. And the heishis only, I cut it down to three heishis instead of five. And then I just used some 22 gauge artistic wire to wire wrap the little drops. And I'm almost out of that one. Um, but it's, it's this 22 gauge and it comes on a 10 yard spool, non-tarnished silver. And so that's, that's those very simple. I do have the silver bead on the top there too. And then I did two with fish, one same design on the top as those other ones. Oops, they're backwards. Um, but then I just did the fish dangle instead of the aquamarine dangle. So cute. And then these are also fish. Um, but here I just used the aquamarine rondelles. Oops, sorry. And um, you see I, I put like a natural color looking one in the middle of two lighter ones just to give it some different because not everybody wants shell and not everybody wants fish either but um, that's okay so those are my shell and fish requirements right so then let me move these out of the way I'm going to put them on a bead tray back here um, so I can show you the next one next sets <laughs> okay so the next necklace I did, which is a requirement, is this. And I had these five, uh, what did they call them? Blue Stripe Dyed Shell 20 millimeter. They were from Michaels back in 2015. I had five out of 10 left, so I figured, you know what? Let's get them out of my box and use them. So I did, and I tried to put the nicest one, but they're... They're a dark blue. Um, sorry, I'm still getting used to the phone camera. And some have, you know, spotches. They're, they're natural dyed shell. That one has a spot too, but you flip them over. Now these are 12 millimeter aquamarine. And those were from Fire Mountain. And these light blue crystals are that Austrian company that we're not supposed to mention anymore, but I have a lot of it in my stash. You see that name there? Five millimeter aquamarine crystal round beads. And I wrote on here, these were from Fusion Beads when they still had their own website. And I had already written on here, discontinued. I had two packs of 10 and 20, and I only have two left. So I'm gonna use them soon. And then these are, you know, I just bought shell pearls from Beadbox Bargains, but I have, I had five packs <laughs> of 10 millimeter of these silver South Sea shell pearls from a place called EE -E Beads, which is long out of business too. And they're all the same item number, so, um, yeah, they were 485 for a pack of 10. And I bought all these. I don't know what I was thinking. I do stuff like that. Anyway, um, so I used 10 plus another couple, I think, two or so, and put them in between. Now, I was running low on the little blue ones. I thought I was going to run out of them, the aquamarine color crystals. So I went digging in my stash a little more and I found some in indigo blue. I think this is the color, dark indigo, six millimeter rounds. That same Austrian company we're not supposed to mention, but these were from Fire Mountain. Um, and I thought that tied in the blue of here. So I left the aquamarine down here. I tried putting the dark ones down here and I didn't like it. But after this one, I just did every other one in the dark indigo versus the aquamarine. 
because I needed some for earrings and I was running low. Um, yeah, anyway, that's it. And then I did again the BB Craft Lobster, the extension chain, and this is a little 10 millimeter one, Aquamarine. Here's the 12 millimeter. Uh, they were heat heated. That was a treatment that happened to them. They do that a lot in beads, otherwise natural. So blue aquamarine 12 millimeter round, H209683. And I got these a long time ago, so I don't know if they still have them. Um, and the 10 millimeter round, which I only used one of here. Uh, I think that's the only one I used at all. Um, and that is uh, H209682SK. And I also have them in eight millimeter, but I didn't use any of those. So that is necklace number two. I just love it. And the same thing, I thought I was making an 18 inch extendable to 20. And I'm pretty sure I made a 16 inch extendable to 18. So yeah, I had to figure out what's up with this beadboard or get a different beadboard or something. I could show you, I laid it out on my beadboard and it came up to nine inches on either side. Yeah, it's not, oops, piece of my beading wire. Um, so let's say, oh, and the bead caps I used on the aquamarines were from Fire Mountain, H201305FN, and they look, I thought they had sort of a shell look to them. It just says swirl, and they're silver plated. They look like that. And they've been in my stash for a little while now. Yeah, I can tell based on the item um, code of my inventory. And then I did use um, two little stardust beads. I was going to put one at the end, and it was getting too long, so I didn't. Those were actually from Oriental Trading. I hope they're going to be okay. But those are 6 millimeter silver glitter round metal beads. Oriental Trading. And just stuck them in this little container and put their label in there. Let's see, did I miss anything else on this? I don't think so. I think that's it for that. And now for the earrings, um, the first pair I made. Okay, so when I was looking for crystals, um, I ended up actually organizing, sort of organizing better anyway, on my Swarovski crystals. Oops, Austrian crystals. Um, I re and actually, I was looking in my inventory system for something else, and I came across the fact that I had fish. Swarovski <clears throat> Austrian Crystal Fish. <laughs> and I have two of them. I have these in Crystal Clear, and I had these in Crystal Blue Shade or something like that. I forget. I have it here somewhere. Uh, crystal, crystal blue shade. They were from Art Beads a while back, and the other ones probably were too. I don't know where that is. Um, so because I was using those good crystals, I went looking for sterling silver, and I decided to go with silver filled. So these marquee shaped ear wires I thought kind of look like fish a little bit so I thought they'd be good uh, these little two and a half millimeter silver beads are silver filled I see I have a little spiky thing I have to fix I'll do that after and then these are um, I want to say four millimeter but I think they're five millimeter round shell beads and then those same Austrian crystals in aquamarine color I don't have my pliers at this table right now, so I can't fix that right this second. Those I've been keeping in one of the bags that, um, because they're silver filled, because I was rather disappointed that I had bought some head pins and eye pins in silver filled, which is supposed to be better than plating. And both of mine were starting to tarnish and change color so i don't know if it was the person the company i bought them from was at a bead show very possibly not reputable but it's been so long i don't know 
All right, so this next pair then, I used the Shell Pearl, same ones. And then <laughs> these smaller Shell Pearls are off a recent purchase from Beadbox Bargains. These are actually champagne color. So I, I had real dark silver in a smaller color, but I didn't have any that were exactly this match. But those were pretty close, I thought. And then I just have the Aquamarine Crystals going down and this time the fish are upside down where here they're right side up so this one's been snagged by a hook and this one's trying to swim away but these have real nice real nice movement and then the last pair of earrings I did is to really match the necklace these are these have a little weight these are lighter these are actually really light for how long they are um, these are probably two and three quarter inch. I don't, I didn't measure these. Um, let's see how long these are. Uh, they're about two and three quarter inch. So I'm guessing these are more like three. <laughs> um, so here I kind of did what I did on the, on the necklace. I used the bead caps on the aquamarine. Use the dark indigo six millimeter crystals and the aquamarine crystals here, and then the smaller, um, no, they're the 10 millimeter shell pearls, uh, South Sea shell pearls. And then I use the lever backs with the shell on them. Those are on silver plated. That one, this one, and all the other ones were on silver plated. Just these are on silver filled. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I hardly, I forget to use it. And I feel like if you're going to use silver filled, you use it all the way. If you're going to use sterling, you use it all the way. You don't mix your um, base metals with your good metals. And so let me bring everything else back in. That is my, my contribution. Oh, you can't see it. Um, oops, sorry. Still getting used to the phone, you know. Let me see if I can move everything over. I put this little pad here because I figured it's easier to see everything. There's a little fishy on the back of that one. Anyway, you've seen them all. So um, I'll try and take pictures. I don't know if I'll get them done in time to put them at the end of this video. Uh, this is on my phone again. I'm still trying to figure everything out only my third try so we'll see how it goes and of course there's earrings to go with with these two and if you hear noise in the background the sky is just let loose on us <laughs> here in southeastern Pennsylvania so I'm trying to fix the fishies earrings here that one and then this one I really like all of them let me know which is your favorite the ones, the bigger bead ones, the chips and shell, lighter, lighter uh, green aquamarine. It's kind of, it's called blue, but it looks more green. The ones with the fish earring, the ones with the South Sea pearl, shell pearls. Yeah, I mean, no, I made quite a lot. Um, and I apologize, everything is a strung necklace. I really wanted to do more wire work other than just on earrings, but um, when I look through the beads and stuff, it just wasn't talking to me that way. You know, I let the beads talk to me sometimes. Yeah, I'm a little nuts. But anyway, um, the beads help me design. <laughs> and I just start pulling stuff together. And that's, that's what happens with me. So it's not like I draw a design out first. I just bring out a bunch of beads my desk gets to be a mess and I end up putting stuff away and sometimes I organize beads as I go along anyway um thank you so much for watching sorry for the long-windedness I'll let you go have a great day be sure to go check out pirate pretties and uh do use the hashtag and look for others I know there's a, at least two others that I know of that participate here on YouTube so go check them out and I'm pretty sure there are people posting in on Facebook, but I don't know where they're posting. So anyway, bye for now. Thank you. Hugs, love, and peace.